Hi, this is teacher Julie. And teacher Dagny. And this video is for level three, the level three story at the clinic. This video is for my Monday and Wednesday morning class and for teacher and teacher Dagny and I's Monday and Thursday afternoon class. For this video, we are reading the story at the clinic. You can read the story with us. You can practice pronunciation with us. Let's read at the clinic. At nine on Monday morning, Carlos called the Squirrel Hill Health Center because he was sick for a few days. Although his temperature was normal when he checked it, Carlos was concerned about COVID-19 because he felt short of breath that morning. The doctor diagnosed Carlos with asthma the previous year. Carlos has been susceptible to respiratory infections since he came down with a case of bronchitis several years ago. Also, Carlos has been on anxiety medication for the past six months and his anxiety over the COVID-19 outbreak could cause trouble breathing. As Carlos prepared to go to his appointment, he felt out of sorts. However, he also felt confident the doctor could correctly diagnose his illness. A few hours before his appointment, Carlos received a call from the clinic to inquire about COVID-19 symptoms. The front desk receptionist asked him several questions about how he was currently feeling. Do you have a fever? Are you coughing? Do you have chest pain or a headache? Have you been in close contact with anyone who recently tested positive for COVID-19? When Carlos first arrived in Pittsburgh, he scheduled a checkup at Squirrel Hill Health Center. At that point in time, Carlos didn't speak any English. So when the receptionist asked if he wanted an interpreter at his appointment, Carlos said yes. However, Carlos has improved his English substantially and felt confident he didn't need interpretation for his appointment today. The receptionist asked Carlos to arrive a little early. So he came to the clinic at three o'clock. Carlos secured a mask over his nose and mouth before he went to the front door. Rather than have patients wait in the waiting room, the clinic allowed only a few people into the building at a time and quickly took them to exam rooms. Carlos pressed the buzzer and the receptionist asked his name and appointment time and then she buzzed him in. 
he stood several feet away from the front desk while the receptionist reviewed his date of birth, his contact information, and his insurance. Then Carlos followed the nurse to the exam room where she called up his personal information on the computer after asking again for his date of birth. Carlos stood on the scale and the nurse checked his weight and height. The nurse took his temperature and checked his blood pressure and heart rate. The nurse reviewed Carlos's medical history in his computer file and asked Carlos questions about medicines and supplements he currently takes. You used to take Advil once a day for back aches. Do you still take Advil? You used to take vitamin C. Do you still take it? Do you still take Zyrtec for seasonal allergies? When she asked Carlos about prescription medications, he showed the nurse his medicine bottles. You used to take fish oil supplements. Do you still take fish oil supplements? Do you have any allergies to medicine? Do you drink alcohol? How much alcohol do you drink? Do you smoke cigarettes? Do you use marijuana or other recreational drugs? Do you currently feel anxious or depressed? Next, the nurse asked, what's the matter? Why are you here today? Carlos listed all his symptoms and how long he's been feeling sick. My nose has been running since Friday night and I've had a sore throat off and on for the past week. Saturday morning, I woke up with a stuffy nose and I've been sneezing and coughing a bit since yesterday. This morning, my chest ate a little and I had some trouble breathing. Also, I have to admit, I've been feeling extra anxious lately, especially when I watch the news about the pandemic. I worry about how contagious COVID-19 is, especially since I've had to continue working on site. The nurse typed on the computer while Carlos talked. She informed Carlos that since his temperature was normal, it didn't seem like he was exhibiting signs of COVID-19. However, she said the doctor might choose to administer a test. The nurse told him the doctor was running a bit behind schedule, but he would be with Carlos as soon as possible. She asked Carlos if he had any questions. The nurse left the room and while Carlos waited for the doctor, he felt a little less anxious, but still sick and run down. He wondered if the doctor would choose to give him a COVID-19 test. We are finished reading the story at the clinic. 
you can stop the video anytime and read the story again or listen to the story again. We will practice the story in class. Thank you for practicing with us today. Bye.